energy up, bro. I could bring my energy up and down at will. Are y'all, can y'all do that? Can y'all bring y'all energy up and down at will? I can, bro. It feel good, too. It feel good, too. Yo, thanks for the gift. Yay! That rises it. That lowers it. I'm already knowing, bro. I'm already knowing. Sturdy youngin. Hold on, let me follow you on this account. Uh... All right, man. All right. Once it, no, nah, once it go down, it's down until I get food. <laughs> Greedy ass nigga. All right. Welcome to the story time. You get what I'm saying? Today's story time is about how I was about to kill my teacher. Now we're gonna hop straight into it. I'm not gonna keep trolling y'all. Um, I was trolling y'all. I had to get some shit together though. But you get what I'm saying? I know y'all know the difference between a public school and a charter school. I I know y'all do. You get what I'm saying? If y'all don't, I'm here for y'all today to tell y'all the difference. Now, I'm not talking about the technical difference. I'm not talking about one get funded by the city and one. It's no difference. Except for one little small thing. Since it's a public school, the teachers give up faster. Since it's a public school, the students think they can act out more. Now, they're going to act out regardless. If you go to a charter school or a public school in Philadelphia, they're going to act out. But I swear it's all down to the teachers. When you go to a public school... The teachers, I swear to God, the teachers don't give a fuck. Yo, I know how much we argue with teachers and all that. Teachers be on dick regardless because that's their job, unfortunately, to dick eat. But, bro, when you go to a fucking public school, I swear to God, the teachers care less. Now, i only been in one public school. Of, um, i only been to one public school in my life. And no, that's not a flex. None of that. My mom just didn't want me to go to a public school. For certain reasons, you know what I'm saying? The, the fucking, the, 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 uh, toilets don't got doors on them. Niggas was shitting with the doors open. Bro, I swear to God, shit was, bro, that school was so atrocious. What school was it? I'm gonna let y'all know it was John Hartranf. I told y'all, I was raised down 7th and Lehigh for a little bit of my lifetime. If you search up Hartranf, um, you get what I'm saying? It's down, seven, it's near, it's down near 7th and Lehigh. I went to that school, uh, for a little while. Um, I went to that school because my charter school got shut down. Um, my charter school got shut down. My mom was looking for another one. You get what I'm saying? Um, uh, apparently, Philadelphia got this thing where they want to say, um, uh, Phil Philadelphia got this thing where they say, if you don't live in the neighborhood of the school that you're trying to attend, that you can't. So when you try to apply for a school, they say, hey, do you live in a five mile radius? And if you don't, they don't accept you. At all. They don't accept you into the school. If you don't live in a five mile radius of the school, you cannot attend. So, um, my mom had to find a school that didn't give a fuck about the five mile radius rule. And find it for me. But until then, I was at Heart Tramp for three months. Now, was it the worst three months of my life? No, it wasn't. I've been to public schools that was worse. However, it was some things that was off, and we're going to hop straight into it. Now, I can't remember that much about the school. I'm going to keep it a buck. But I can remember the story, and I can re remember everything that take place. Nigga, that's everywhere. Oh, I didn't know that was everywhere. That's, that shit is that's crazy to me. If I'm coming to this school, right? If I'm coming to the school and saying, I want to attend here, why the fuck would I attend here if I can't make it here? You think I'm going to pull up to New York if I live in Philadelphia and try to enroll? If I'm trying to enroll here, obviously I can make it to the fucking school. I just don't understand that rule at all, and it doesn't make sense. You think I came and signed myself up so I can go chill in my fucking living room, lay back like this, like, ah. We got them, boys. No, I'm just not going to go to school, and I'm just going to fail. I'm just going to get left back. I'm only going to get older, and I'm only playing myself. If I'm coming to apply, obviously I like y'all school, and I want to come there. I don't understand the rule at all, and it sucks dick. It stopped me from getting into a lot of good schools. Not going to lie to y'all. Bro, I don't I don't get the rule at all. It's, it's dumb as shit. All right, but back, back into it, back into it, back into it. My mom trying to find me a school, but meanwhile, we at this charter school called Hartranf. Um, Hartranf, 
was a different experience. Y'all, her trans started at 9 o'clock. Now, y'all might be like, damn, it started at 9 o'clock, that's a W. I looked at it like, these niggas don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. Niggas popping up at 10. Niggas popping up at 11.30. Niggas popping up whenever they want. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not but I'm not about to be the guy first one in class because I'm popping up at 8, uh, uh, 8 30, 9 o'clock like I'm supposed to. My mom send me out the door at 8 o'clock and she said, go to school. Bro, I'm the first nigga there. I'm the first nigga. I'm the first nigga in school looking dumb. We had uniform too. We have we have uh, burgundy red shirts, tan pants, and black shoes. It felt like a concentration camp. We had no deans. I never met the principal in my life. Anybody could come check you out of school. I wasn't used to this shit. Bro, it's usually a list. It's usually a list. Like, all right, only these people could come check you out. Bro, anybody could come check you out. My little brother could have came and checked me out. He could have said, hey, I'm coming to get Rod and been two years younger than me. And they would have gave that gave me to that nigga. These niggas are not it. They're not it at all. Bro, I'm going to the school and I'm the first one there. And I'm trying to let my mom know that niggas pop up at 10, 11. It won't affect your attendance, I promise. My mom like, no, leave out anyway. You get what I'm saying? I told myself I'm not going to make no friends here, and I did the opposite, and that's what led me to almost killing the teacher. Now, if y'all see these clips, uh, I know y'all see clips of me. Uh, I, I don't know if you OG enough, but it's clips of me like m making music and whatever. And then they had a studio. If, you, if you're if you from Philly, I know that it's everywhere mainly, but in Philly, everybody think they're a fucking rapper. Yo, thanks for the sub. Everybody from Philly think they can rap. Right? Everybody think they correct. Everybody in there like, hey, 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 everybody in the studio. Now, in the studio was the only thing tightly managed. I swear to God, the studio was more tightly managed than any class. You could walk out the class without a hall pass. Where are you going? I'm going to piss. Art. Just art? My old teacher would have, no, Sherrod, I'm calling the principal. Take the pass. Raise your hand before you throw something in the trap. All that. All that. <sighs> You can't rap, you ass. Then don't listen. Just listen to the story time and get off dick, Mr. Keys. But look, though. Bro, everybody here think they can rap. So, you get what I'm saying? When you're surrounded by something, when you're surrounded by something, what are you going to do? You're going to indulge into it unless you push away. Now, anybody who's ever been peer pressured, I don't understand. I don't understand how y'all be peer pressured. Why is it, why in the right state of mind, like, I'm not even talking about peer pressure to the wrong thing. Like, I, it's like, why can't they say, bro, you a bitch, you really not gonna hit this L? Y'all gonna hit the L because they called you a bitch and said you're not gonna hit it? I don't understand. I told them no, nigga, didn't I say no? Sometimes I, I would even say, bro, are you trying to peer pressure me? No, bro, I'm just not okay then. I said no. Bro, when I feel like somebody's trying to pressure me, I turn up. Not because I'm nervous that they about to get into my head. It's because, bro, who the fuck do you think I am? I look at I look at that nigga. Bro, didn't I say I'm not doing that with y'all? Y'all dumb as shit. I said no. Man, you a bitch. Okay, and you can't beat me. I'm not doing it. What's your problem? I'd rather fight you before I puff the L. I said, no. I just don't be understanding. Nobody could peer pressure you to do anything. But if you ever heard the saying, you're the company you keep, that's a true saying. I'm not even going to lie. That's the better way to peer pressure. The better way to peer pressure is not even to say anything. Just surround them by it. If somebody around you is smoking every single day, one day you're going to hit it. I don't care how hard you say your mental is. That's why I surround myself around people who want what I want. Now, when I surround myself, unfortunately, sometimes in life, you surround yourself around people that you don't want to be surrounded as, and you keep yourself around them because that's your friend. I let them niggas go. Adios, gangy. From the rent. From the rent. Yo, 
Yo, Rod, why you stop coming around? Y'all niggas dickheads. Y'all know y'all still my guys, though. That's how I let them know. Now, sometimes I let it consume me. Like the rapping shit. They was rapping, and I'm like, all right. We never wrote anything down. All I used to do is go there, and they used to just freestyle. So I let it consume me. I let it. You get what I'm saying? I never was the type to say, hey, let me freestyle. Hey. I'm not even going to lie. Some of you niggas suck. And if you say, right, you rap, you suck. I rap when I'm bored. I didn't make a song in a week. <sighs> Before that, I didn't make a song in three weeks. I make music when I'm bored. I haven't been bored. I've been watching TV and creating content. I'm not a rapper. Just because a song blew up, don't mean I'm a rapper. Now, I let it consume me back then. We would you just go in there and freestyle on beats. I'm going to show y'all some clips. You get what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all some clips of me rapping or whatever. But we used to just go there, right? That was the place to be. We just rapping. All this. You got what I'm saying? They're like, yeah, right. Go ahead. <clears throat> Mind you. I like to say I was getting good at it. I showed y'all these clips before, but I never really told y'all the story. But I'm getting good at it, right? The studio was the only place... All right, the studio was the um, bro, fat ass, aunt, bro, hold up, bro. Did they just pull up in front of my house? Oh my god, bro, they about to be loud, bro. They in front of the house. I hope they don't be loud, bro. I'm waiting for them to uh pull by, bro. Thanks for the sub. I can't see who's subbing, but um. Our goal is 10, so you get what I'm saying? I saw two so far. Bro, the, si the, the sirens just pissed me off, bro. I, I think, bro, I got... Bro, subscribe for subscribe if you're new to the channel. It's only like $6. I love y'all young boys. Let's, let's get back into the story time, bro. Certain shit just pissed me off, bro. It make me want to... It make my blood pressure go up, bro. It make me, like, angry. I need to control that. It make me want to punch... Like, I want to punch my monitor right now. Why are they that loud? Whatever, though. But look, though. Bro, the studio, the studio is the only place where the coons get along. Why am I calling them that? Because, bro, these niggas fight every day. These the, these the niggas that be like, yeah, come to my let out. These the niggas. Bro, I fought one of these niggas in the computer lab one weekend. My mom like, what's going on? What's getting into you? Mom, these niggas are, these niggas are dangerous. We playing cl Club Penguin. Nigga with a long, long arms. Nate, uh, named what? Daquan, Deshaun, Day something. We playing Club P Penguin or whatever. Everybody playing it. We sitting there. I'm just doing my math shit. Bro. This nigga gonna say, bro, why you got the highest score? I said, I'm just doing it faster. You need help? Nigga gonna say, nigga, I don't need your help and mug me. The shit surprised me. I'm like, did this nigga just had a guts to mug me? I don't even know this nigga's name. I got up and mugged this nigga out his fucking chair with my whole palm. Pussy. Nigga got up, we start fucking rumbling. Why the fuck am I rumbling seven days in? Did you just mug me? Nigga doink me, my fault, not mug me. Nigga doink me. Over Club Penguin. I mugged this nigga out his chair. Did you, Are you trying to fight me because I got the highest score? You bored ass nigga. This the public school, bro. <sniffs> Mind you, you know how bipolar these niggas is? These the niggas to come back the next day and say, yo, bro, want to play some ball? With the sorry eyes. That's the way they're saying sorry. Their way of saying sorry is by being your friend again. We're not friends, nigga. I'm a human. I'm not like you robots. We not cool, nigga. I forgave you, but I ain't forget, nigga. You doink me with no hesitation. I will fuck you up. What, we got to rumble six times for us to really be cool? The, the school was Hartran. John Hartran. Anyways, bro. Bro. We chilling, bro. We chilling. ambulance who can't cook to the point where they about to burn down bro
They parked, bro. Nobody got shot, bro. This nigga's house burning down. I bet he can't cook. It's not no fucking movie. A witch didn't light his shit on fire. Nothing unfortunate happened. The nigga just can't cook. They bringing out this nigga oven. They bringing out this nigga oven right now. It's three am. It's it's two ambulance out there. Three fire trucks and a cop car. Stop fucking cooking if you can't cook. They fucking me up, bro. I'm trying to do something, bro. They so inconsiderate, bro. That shit so loud. It's 2021, niggas can't cook. The fuck? We got microwaves, bro. Alright, we back into the story time. We back into the story time. I'm not letting nobody steal my energy, bro. They trying to really steal my shit right now, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's pissing me off. Alright, so look. <clears throat> the fight ain't got nothing to do with it, bro. You get what I'm saying? The fight ain't got nothing to do with it, bro. The fucking studio is the way that everybody was unified. So I'm going to show you the clips. Y'all want to see the clips now or do y'all want to see the clips after? Y'all want to see like the, the clips of us in the studio now or after? Y'all want to see the clips now or after? All right, say no more, say no more, say no more. All right, say no more, say no more. I'm going to show you the clips of us just in there freestyling after. So look, bro, we in the studio, everything going good, right? The studio is the only thing that's controlled. It's a teacher who actually cares. It's a teacher who actually cares, bro. Who just like, now? Damn, a lot of niggas is saying now. Alright, 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 hold on. I'm going to just show you the clip. I'm going to show you the clip. I'm going to show you the clip. Oh, yeah, y'all not even subscribed talking about now. How about y'all sub now? Good shit, Mimi. All right, so look. I'm going to show you the clips after of us freestyling in here. But look, though. Bro. Um, the studio, the only thing controlled by a teacher who actually gives a fuck. You get what I'm saying? Who actually gives a fuck. So the, the teacher, he say, all right, uh, check in your time. This is the only thing that the, that the delinquents actually listen to. Like, you got to sign in your name, say, Sherrod, uh, what, 2 o'clock. And mind you, the studio is open from fucking, the studio open from the time that school start until 5 o'clock. And school end at 2.45 or 2.35, some shit like that. <clears throat> How much story do you have to be having, having videos from 1836? I got, I got 22,000 photos, and I got, I got photos that go all the way back to, I got photos that go all the way back into 2005, I got 2008, I got 2010, I got 2011, 2012, 2013, 2015, 16, I got shit from 2005, I had, I had the first iPhone and I never missed one. I've never missed the iPhone. I had every single iPhone that came out except for the 4S. And my pictures has been carrying with me. If I dated a girl, it's in my phone. I don't delete anything. If it's screenshots of you cheating, it's in there somewhere. If I, if I hit the nene in 2011, it's in my phone. Any skill that I tried, it's in my phone. How old are you? I'm 18. I had the iPhone 3, 3G, 3GS, 4, 5C, 5S, 6, 6 Plus, 7. I ha I didn't have the 7 Plus. I had the 8, 8 Plus. I had the 10, the 11, the 12, and I got the 13 right now. And I'm uh, I'm I'm gonna grab the uh the 14 uh later on. But look though, um. That's all I'm saying, bro. I wonder why they skipped nine. Yeah, me too. But look though, um, bro, I'm I'm signing in. I'm using it, and this is really my piece. You get what I'm saying? Anytime you want a distress situation, you you skate, yeah, skateboard. 
Um, and I roller skate. Um, if you're in a distressed situation, you gotta find your peace. So when I mean what I what I mean by you gotta find your peace is you gotta find something that you enjoy in an environment that's fucking you up. You get what I'm saying? In an environment that's fucking you up, you gotta find something that's that's making you happy. You know? And the thing that was making me fucking happy was the studio. Now we got this teacher. His name is Mr. Richard. I'm gonna say his name. He didn't press charges, so shout out him, cause I would have been in trouble. But Mr. Richard was about to die. And not over the studio, over the fact that he was dick eating. Dick eating is really a plague, like it's really something that could get you hurt. And I wouldn't recommend that anybody dick eat because it's not something that you should be doing, you know? You get what I'm saying? Dick eating is not something I recommend. It's a plague, bro. It's a plague. Imagine this. Think about this. Think about this. I'm up here streaming right now, worrying about my career. Imagine if I was downstairs, worrying about if I could get the TV remote when I wasn't even worrying about it. That's dick eating. That's not minding my business. Imagine I see somebody stealing, and I say, hey, don't do that. That's dick eating. Don't do that. Mind your fucking business. If somebody get paid $300 and they spend their $300 on a $300 meal, I could say, yo, bro, I want to see you spend your money better as a friend. But if they say, no, nah, bro, this is what I'm going to do, I shouldn't take it out my way to try to just do some extra shit. That's dick eating. You don't dick eat. That's not what you do. So this teacher was taking it upon himself to dick eat. He took it upon himself to suck dick. The nigga would come to the studio and shut it down. We in there freestyling. I got I got uh I got that red supreme jacket on that I had on yesterday. Mind you, had that for a very long time. Got the red supreme jacket on. I'm just dancing. Hey, hey, I'm I'm freestyling. Hey, hey, hey. He come in there, he come in there and he say, Yo, studio shut down, get out. Start bringing boxes in there. Mind you, didn't I mention I never met the principal? Who am I supposed Who is his higher up? I don't even know his boss. Who am I supposed to take it to? Another person? I say, hey, why is shut down? You get what I'm saying? We we signed it. We, we allowed to be in here. You get what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. He like, no, y'all can't. So I'm thinking he's shutting it down for the day. I go to the library. Mind you, y'all know how open this school was? While I was in the studio, I was supposed to be in math. The school was so open that if you was in class, you was just in class. If you walked out, you just walked out. You could float around, go to the library. You can be in somebody else's gym period. That's not even your gym period. I don't even think the gym teacher knew who was supposed to be in each period. He just knew that certain niggas was in gym for three periods at a time. And that he was going to be there until he was able to clock out. Some niggas was in gym running ball for like eight periods. Hey, yo, where's such and such at? Oh, he's still in the gym. All right, bet. I might go get him. Bro, if you was in class, you really was a goody two-shoes. Because, bro, you can do whatever you want. <clears throat> Y'all know how bad it was? Even the smart girl, the smart girl, and I say smart girl as in the person who do her work. She do her work, but she spent all her time in the library. She come to school. She clock in and go to the library. And she be in there all day reading, enjoying her time. That's the most quietest place, too. The librarian don't play. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a high school in the movies. The librarian makes sure the library is quiet. The gym teacher makes sure the gym is working. The, it was like, it was like stations. It's like... It's, it was like stations. That's what it was like. It's like, yo, math class in there. Whenever you ready to learn some math, you go in there. Oh, yeah, the library open. Whenever you ready to read a book, you go in there. Uh, hey, when you... Shit, not even school. You could walk out when you want to. Certain niggas come clock in and walk back out and be roaming the neighborhood. That's how bad that school was. And y'all might be like, W school? Bro, I ain't learned shit there. 
It's the community center at this point. <laughs> I did not learn shit there. But he shut the studio down, and that was the best part about it to me. You get what I'm saying? Y'all had a schedule? Yeah. <clears throat> but once you lose your schedule, they don't reprint you one. So I think that shit was made up. So, boom. Uh, he shut it down, and he started moving boxes in there. He started putting a bike in there. Mind you, it's his bike. He drive a fucking bike to school. Right? How you pass, they get everybody uh, A's and B's. For real, for real, it was based on behavior. It was based on behavior. If the teacher don't like you, you get a bad grade. For real, for real. Because I never been to English in my life when I was in that school, bro. I used to always skip it for the studio. I used to go to every class except for English because I didn't like it. And then she still gave me an A because she liked me. Outside of the studio, we was we was best friends. I mean, outside of English, we was best friends. We used to bust it up. She drive a little red Toyota. She parked in front of the school. I used to say, hey, see you. Have a nice day. And she was like, oh, none of the students ever tell me to have a nice day. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to tell her every day. She gave me an A. Yeah, now you really can say, hey, the teacher ain't like me. But real shit, she gave me an A, bro. I've never been in that class in my life. Swear to God on everything I love. But look, though, he shut it down, right? So he drive a bike. He park his fucking bike that he drive there, and he park it inside the studio. So over the days, he cluttering up the studio, bro. So I'm like, bro, why is he cluttering up the studio? I'm like, bro, we be in there. So I start spending more of my time in the library. Y'all, the nigga shut the library down. Now, I figure out what the nigga was mad about. The nigga was mad that I pointed out that the way that I just told y'all the school is, I pointed that out to the vice principal. The vice principal will pop up, and I pointed out. I'm like, bro, what's up with the school? This is like this. This is like this. He right there, right? Now, you know what this nigga would do? Instead of teaching, this nigga would roam around, too. I made sure of it that he stay in his fucking place, pussy. Because you're a history teacher, and I want to learn history. Why are you not in class? I don't care if you stay in that room for eight hours and eat your lunch and don't teach nothing. You better be in that class when it's time for me to learn because I want to learn. So I was, I was, I, I told the vice principal, I'm like, what's up? Y'all, I don't know what the vice principal did, but the vice principal don't make sure none of the students do what they do, but they made sure that he stay in there. So he tried to shut the library down. Nigga tried to shut the library down. Nigga, I'm reading. Are you pissed? So I felt like he was targeting me. So that's what I did. It's certain times that he is busy because he is teaching. So all the niggas, I told them, y'all, we do what we want in the school. We moved all the boxes out and we broke his fucking bike. We threw it down the steps. Boom. Threw his fuck. He had a mountain bike. Corny as shit. Brown and black. Worst bike of my life. The pedal broke off like a fucking dog bit it off. He got tire patches on. Threw that shit right down the step. Fuck your bike, nigga. I threw it down all the flights. And the, and the flight of stairs go straight down. It don't curl up like this, nigga. I threw that shit straight down. I threw it with force. Ugh. Threw his fucking bike. Nasty ass mountain bike. Straight broke it. Dickhead, he pissed. I look behind me. He see me. I run downstairs. He thinking I'm running downstairs to, to, to run. He, hey, come back. Pick his shit up again. Throw it down the other flight. Dickhead, don't don't break the studio. Now, at this point, I realized that I'm I'm, I'm being like the people that I, I, I didn't like. But this is what I mean by your surroundings is what you become. Threw his bike down the other flight. Bro, you thought I was running from you? Weak ass mountain bike. Tighten the bolts. Maybe it wouldn't break. His whole fucking, his whole body snapped. Apparently he had it welded back together because it snapped before. Shit snapped again. Get it welded again. His chain popped off. Fuck old head. Tire flat. He like, come here. I'm like, bro, don't touch me. Nigga try to touch me. Guess who grabbed this nigga arm to let him know not to touch me? Shit was like a movie. I'm like, don't touch me. I wasn't scared of this nigga at all. Bro, you know how many teachers got arrested for fighting students? We was on the red list for getting every teacher fired. He knew better. Teachers was the only thing on the leash. Nigga grabbed my arm. So he grabbed my arm. The nigga I was fighting, Daquan, Deshaun, whatever his name was, going to grab his arm like, bro, y'all want to do this. The nigga let me go and backed up like this. Swear to God, backed up. All right. <laughs> you pissed ass nigga. He pissed. After that, bro, I knew he was gang warring. I come back to the studio, all the equipment is gone. All the equipment for the studio was gone. The mic, gone. The engineering table, gone. I don't even know how our, 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 um, 
our fucking uh, school was able to afford this, but I know who had it. I walked up to him and said, where's the stuff for the studio? He said, studio is shut down. I said, bro, where's the stuff for the studio? He said, studio shut down. I started searching his cabinets. It's not in here. Why he reading a book? It's not in here. The student's like, oh, he fucking with Rod's studio. I'm like, bro, where the, where the shit at, bro? Nigga got his legs up on the desk, book open. He feel like a king. Nigga like this. Book wide open. Studio closed, bro. <laughs> you motherfucker! Thought he was that guy. I swear to God, this nigga posture, this nigga posture cracks me up. Mind you, the nigga keep his mountain bike. He keep his mountain bike in the room now. I grab his mountain bike, start riding it through the hall. He chasing me. Threw it down the steps again. He go to chase it, I run back to the room. Nigga got the equipment under his desk and a fucking, uh, one of the, one of the cloth, cloth shopping bags. Took, took the bag, went back to the studio, hooked it up, we chilled that day. I'm like, y'all, every day we gonna hide it. Y'all, one thing the school did not tolerate was stealing. Bro, I have never seen the school go on lockdown. Some girl thought it was sweet. Her name was Shakira. I'm not gonna lie. When I think of Shakira, I think of the bitch with the hips. You know what I'm saying? Shout out her. That's her name. That's acceptable. If you name your your, 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 your daughter Shakira and she's very ratchet, very unacceptable, she just screamed horror to me. Al whore. I'm not even gonna lie. And she and she was. She was fucking with every... And she, and she was fucking with every, every nigga in the school. She was a hot Cheeto girl at heart. I think she was the origin of it. The bitch thought it was sweet one day. Shakira tried to steal out of the teacher's purse. The teacher was white. The teacher was clearly scared of us. I don't know if it was because we black or because we was delinquents. And I, I'm not going to lie. She should be scared because of both reasons. When when I see a when I see a white person, I think this nigga sweet, this bitch sweet, and it's just my mindset, and I can't control it, and I'm not even gonna switch it up. I'm not switching my mindset. If I see a white young boy, I'm gonna say, y'all, I will beat you the fuck up, and I probably would, and the confidence is gonna help. Versus a black nigga, oh, this nigga probably could fight. I gotta put my guard up. <sighs> she should be scared because of both, because we're black and because we're doing delinquent things. She stole from the teacher. They put the whole school on lockdown. Took it from her. Kicked her out. That's where they draw the line. Not fighting. You could fight ten times. You could fight ten times. You're still here. Don't show up in uniform. You're still here. Don't show up to your classes. You're still here. Curse at the teachers. You're still here. Leave school. You're still here. You still expelled. <laughs> no way. I don't see how y'all draw the line there. Do y'all even have the right to do that? Bro, Shakira had red braids every day, all year. Hater. I love you too, Tony. <laughs> Kabop the glitz in the hall, but you better not take the white pencil. <laughs> Yes, bro. Expel. I never saw Shakira again, bro. Bro, she's been going... She's been going through the red hair phase. All her life, bro. It's just slap. I'm not gonna lie. Like bright red, yeah, bright red. It wasn't a nasty red. It wasn't like dark red, burgundy, cute with the girl, like the girls be having. Ride you like a badass, bro. My stomach was growling, bro. I had to feed him. But look though, bro. 
we start hiding the bag of equipment in the library, bro. We start hiding the bag of equipment in the library. And this is the day everything went down. I'm going to show you all the clip where I'm in there. I'm freestyling and gassing me up. Right? Gassing me up. Oh! Oh! Gassing me up. All this cute shit. Nigga come in there with a, 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 a thing of water. Pour it over the entertainment system. Pour it over the, the keyboard. Nigga threw it over the fucking uh, plug. Threw water on the plug. I'm like, bro, you trying to start a fucking fire? I unplugged it. Start wiping it down, mind you. Um, It's waterproof. We had one of them flat-ass, flat-ass Apple keyboards. The, 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 the control center is waterproof, so he looked dumb. I'm like, are you trying to start a fire? You're a fucking child. He said, what you say to me, bro? Grab me like this. My man grabbed his hand. He grabbed him. He got both of us. It's only two of us. He like, stop playing with me. Touch my bike again. That's your ass. Pause, but I want to see what he mean. So now it's time to turn up. I told him, hide the equipment. We about to fuck his shit up today. We know that he only go to lunch um, during second or third period. When it's lunchtime, he don't go to lunch. He stay in his room and he guard it. He eat while he teach in second to third period because it's almost never nobody in there. But he go to car his car to get the lunch. So today I got one of my friends. I'm like, bro, I need you to stay in there. I need you to stay in class because if we do it, he's going to suspect us. I need you to stay in class and text me as soon as he leaves. She texts me. He left to get his lunch. And he locked the door behind him. I'm like, unlock it. She's like, there's no lock on there. I'm like, bet. We we wait for him to come back. He come back with his container. Yo, thanks for the sub. He come back with his container, mind you. He a black bull, bro. Eating solids. Now, y'all might be like, rah, ain't nothing wrong with solids. Y'all. The nigga dicking the tomatoes. The little circle tomatoes dicking them. He eat his bag of croutons like a bag of chips after he done his fucking... Bro, the nigga different. Nigga, a solid the wild, Bro. Bro, I don't know, bro. He different, bro. The nigga got a a, a, a container of fucking um, t the tomato circles. And he eat them separate. And then he eat his croutons like a bag of chips. And the only thing that's acceptable is his solid. And it, it looked like thick leaves. Like leaves with moisture. Y'all know how poison ivy like thick leaves when you snap it open and it got that creamy stuff in the middle it looked like aloe a little bit but it's just real thin the nigga don't even look like he eating solid solid he looked like he eating some nut shit it don't look like solid nigga my solid has never been nigga solid is solid mind you my man never had dressing I remember his whole meal because we were used to make fun of it. This nigga is nasty. Bro be eating bark. <laughs> Crouton Crusher. <laughs> bro, that nigga nasty, bro. Y'all try to eat like he eat and tell me if it's good. Mind you, no dressing, bro. And his bath used to be a protein fucking drink. Protein drink, chocolate protein drink. Two scoops of water, no sugar. <laughs> Dicking him like it's an elite bath, nasty ass bath. So he got his lunch. You get what I'm saying? I see his container in his hand. And he got his little, he got his little bag. You get what I'm saying? Uh, he opened the door. I run straight in, right? Grab his bike. I'm trying to do the same thing that I did last time. He not playing with it, y'all. The nigga, I don't know, bro. He got fat ass hands. Nigga, stick his hand straight in the back tire. Mind you, I'm 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 trying to hurry up and like run with it on the side and then jump on it. The nigga put his whole hand inside the tire and stops it. Like he stops the wheel. It could have took his fingers off. He got it balled up, stops the wheel, and start pulling it back. Bro, I hop off the the front bars and I tell my man, I'm like, run! Run! This nigga turned into hawk. Bro, the nigga should have hit his hand like ah. No, he stopped it, looked me in my face, and tried to reach for me. I hopped over the zone like, oh, I'm like, run, run. Now, the way the school is set up is three floors. The third floor is the most active floor. 
the third floor in the middle of it think about think about the hall go like a u it go like a u right the middle the very middle part is all all library when you come up this staircase you go straight back this is his room every floor is like a u it go like this and then the next floor go like this it, it go like boom it's just like a u the center part is the library on the third floor the third floor is the main hub because jim up there and the library and the studio i'm running down to the third floor second floor i lost them but i lost my mans shit like a movie hallways empty that's one thing too they kept the hallways empty i don't care where you go just go 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 hallways always empty i can't catch one of these one of these niggas who keep worrying about the hallways so um bro i'm uh i'm running through the halls the hallways empty i'm like <sighs> i'm looking i see him again i'm running and I stay by the corner. When I run, when I run, I run to the next corner and I'm waiting for him to turn the corner. He don't turn the corner. So I'm looking behind me. So now I go to the middle of the floor because I'm like, bro, I don't know if he about to come from this side because he didn't turn the corner. How you go from chasing me right here? I turn the corner and you don't turn it with me. Are you stalking the corner? I can't go to that corner now. Are you about to come from the other side? If you are, I need to know. So now I'm stuck in the middle. Bro, my man's come running from one side, bro. After he come from one, running from one side, he like, bro, where he at? But he not out of breath. I'm like, I don't know. Go go check that corner for me. He like, wait, what's going on? Yo, my nigga, my man snaked me. My man snaked me. I'm like, why he not out of breath? Nigga, nigga, nigga sound like he took him a break and sipped some water. I'm like, check that corner. He like, wait, what's going on? What do you mean what's going on? I check the corner, bro. He's like, what you mean? I'm like, bro, get away from me. I start running away from me. He's like, hold up, bro. Start jogging away from me. I'm like, bro, I'm going to fuck you up, bro. Walk away. I see the teacher coming from the other side. Bro, I clothesline the shit out this nigga. Move. Boom, clothesline you. I'm like, bro, you snake-ass nigga. Fuck, you promise you a good grade. You snake-ass nigga. Nigga talking about what's going on. You snaking me. That's what's going on. Bro, nigga really like this. Bro, nigga really like this, bro. Wait, what happened? Where, where is he? What, what's going on? Bro, check that corner. Wait, why? What, what happened? What, what's going on? Bro, move. Move away from me, pussy. Fuck, he promise you. Why you, like, stop trying to snake me, you pussy ass nigga. Didn't even try to act. At all. Nigga trying to act confused. What's going, wait, what's going on, bro? Fake breathing. And I noticed he was fake breathing because he did this. What's going on? I'm like, check the corner. He like, um... You go from fake acting to not knowing what to tell me when I just told you, nigga, stop breathing hard. Like, what you mean? Not tired anymore? Turned it off, buddy? I bet. And then I wondered how we separated because I told him, follow me. I'm running through the halls. I'm jumping half of the staircase. I used to love to jump down the staircase. I hold on to the bar. I'm jumping the staircase. I'm like, wait, where'd he go? I'm like, fuck, we got lost. <laughs> Nigga probably was walking. He probably was like, we could corner him. I get away from these niggas. I'm running. I'm running, right? I'm running. I go to the studio. I mean, I go to the, I go to the library. The studio equipment going. I see it, bro. They must have tried to play me. Y'all know how the doors got them, them like, rectangle joints that you can see through? It's a table with the studio on it, but his door locked. They playing with me, and they think they could take Light Yaga me out. You niggas. You fucking niggas. Y'all trying to play the fuck out me. Y'all trying to play me like a stupid bro. So, what I'm guessing they did was... Oh, he chasing us. They both stopped at the top stairs, started looking down. Let that nigga run. Took the studio. Took the studio equipment. Put it in his room. Locked the door. They set it on the table where I could clearly see it. You look into the joint, it's right there. 
and then chase me. Y'all might be asking, like, Rod, why you running? I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. I don't know. It's just I try to break this nigga bike. He was on some hawk shit. I start running. And once you want to run and chase type thing, it's like you don't even know why you running no more. I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't even know why I'm running. I'm just running. But look though, <laughs> I really try to think about it for y'all. I really sit here like, why did I run? But um, I mean like, I don't know. But my thing was, it's two of them. I'm at the office right now. The office was the most kind place, bro. The the office was the most kind place, bro. You go to the office, bro. Once you go to the office, you know what the office do, bro? They sit there. You can sit down, talk to them. You could talk to the nurse. Like, hey, what's up, nurse? Check on her. Talk to whoever in the office that time. If you leave and they say goodbye, even if it's not dismiss dismissal. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the office. I'm chilling there. I'm catching my breath. I know they would never check the office because they never expect me to go to the office. I never went to the office in my life. After I leave the office, I open the trophy case and I grab one of the trophies. Because I'm like, bro, next n the nigga who tried, I'm not running no more. The nigga who walk up, if he tried to grab me, he getting hit with the trophy. Now, the trophy got like, it got like, a, it's a track trophy. So the guy is like, it's like this, I think, and uh, one of his legs sticking off, but the bottom part is the hard part. So I stick the, no homo, but I stick the uh, the part, the trophy part, the gold part, I stick it in my waistline, and I have the, like, the thick bottom part with the plaque. Um, I stick the, I let that part stick out, and I, I put my jacket over it. And I'm just walking. I'm like, I'm gonna go read me a book, and if a nigga walk up on me, he's getting hit with the trophy. That's it. I see my snake ass mans. He run to the library doors, see me through the doors, and point. Teacher come in. My mans disappear. The nigga pulls out a chair. Sit there. And he like, I'm getting you expelled. Your behavior is atrocious. I said, everybody in this school act a fool. And you mad at me. Why? Because of your bike? How should I feel about the studio? He said, I said it shut I said it was shut down and my word is final. I said, Well, alright, I like your final word. Give me a spell. Until then, bro, I'm gonna go read this book. And I try to walk out. Nigga grab my arm. Pull out the trophy. BAM! His wrist is like this. I bro, if he would have moved, if he would have moved his hand, I probably would have broke my own wrist. BAM! Break bro. I moved my arm up too to create force. I move my arm up and I and I bring this down. Boom to try to bring it to each other. I'm like this. And slow mo, I bring it up. Boom. I said, don't touch me. And I walk out. Y'all, that upset the fuck out of him. Y'all. I went into a closet. It's like this little closet room. It's small as shit. I don't know who told him I was in there, but I'm in the closet room reading. I'm like, bro, I'm gonna just leave when I leave. Now what kept me at school if you can leave whenever you want? It's not my neighborhood. I'm not about to walk around it. I'm going to die. And I can't go home until it's time to go home. Or my mom will say, why the fuck are you home? And she will beat my ass. What's the greater risk? This teacher or getting my ass whooped? Getting my ass whooped. Because then she might come to school and find out how the school actually is. And then whoop my ass again. You know what I'm saying? I mean, my mom is the more, you know what I'm saying? So I'm in this closet, bro. I'm in this closet. Nigga, open the closet door. Close it. Bro, the nigga... This the only time I've been strangled. Nigga, grab my... Bro, grab my neck like this. Nigga, start choking me out. I'm trying to swing the... I'm trying to swing the trophy. Nigga, grab my arm. Bro, I'm like, I'm about to die. Nigga got me like this. I try to swing my arm. Other arm, grab it. He say, hey, yo, you little nigga, stop fucking playing with me. He from Philly, mind you. Talking to me all type of ways. I'm not strong enough, bro. I'm not strong enough. But I'm smart enough. I need this nigga right in his dick. He let my hand go with the trophy. Come over here. From over top with the trophy. Boom! Hit him in his fucking head. Bro, grab his head. I grab the chair. 
Boom, hitting him with the chair. I'm punching on him. Boom, all face shots. Boom. Dick kid, stop playing with me. I'm punching him all in his shit. Boom, 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 boom. I'm not stopping. I grab the chair. I throw the chair at him again. Start punching him again. Boom, boom. I grab the, I grab the, uh, bro, I grab the trophy again. I'm hitting his knees. Boom. Hit his knee again. Boom. I'm, bro, I'm fucking this nigga up. Bad. My friend opened the door like, Rod, right, chill. Bro. This nigga on the floor is trying to breathe. And my man's pulled me off of him. I didn't mean to do that to him. I didn't mean to... Bro, I feel bad saying that right now, bro. Because his eyes just... I don't know, but it's like, yo. He was, he was choking me out. Like, I don't know. Like... My man's pulling me off, and I'm like, and he like, yo, bro, you gonna kill him? Nigga, nose bleeding, lip busted. He holding his knee and his head. He like, I think I got a concussion. He walking out. He limping back to his classroom. I ran to his craft classroom before him, grabbed his bike, threw it down the steps again, and I left. And I was just walking around on the avenue until, you know. It was time for me to go home. I just had to get out to school. I still broke his shit. The next day at school, cops was in the classroom that I usually be at. They know what class I attend. I only attend math. And, um, I, well, I wanted to attend history, but he wasn't there. So I never attended history, but I always attend math. And, uh, it's some shit called liter uh, literacy or uh, composition, some shit like that. And cops in there. And they pulled me out with him. And they like, what's going on? They pull us into a small room. I'm like, bro, I'm about to get locked up, bro. I'm like, I'm about to get locked up. They're like, do you want to press charges? He like, no, it wasn't him. He like, did you assault this man? I said no. He said, "Are you could go back to class. They was not targeting me. They was pulling people from every single classroom. I walked up to him and I was like, yo, who did that to you? He said, you, I'm going to fuck you up. Yo, for the next three days, he was eyeing me and I'm watching myself. I start bringing a, a, a kitchen knife to school he like I'm gonna fuck you up he didn't snitch I bring in the kitchen knife on that fourth day my mom said yo your charter school back up and running the water pipes cool I never went back to that school and that was just it That I never saw him again I never been to the school again none of that but I almost killed that nigga Y'all, I wasn't going to stop because my thing was he's stronger than me. So what if he get the upper hand? I don't want him to get it. So I just kept, kept swinging. And y'all, the bottom of that trophy part was like, it, it felt like cement. And I was hitting him in his head, his knees. I kicked that nigga in his dick. I was stumping that nigga. No homo, I was stumping that nigga dick out like this. Bow, bow, hitting him with the trophy. Bow, throwing a chair at him. Boom, punching on him. Like, I was fucking him up. I don't know. But I switched schools, and then that's when I went back to Kinderton. I don't know. I'm going to show you all the freestyle bits. Bro, damn. I feel bad. Nigga's about to die. What the story time about? You missed it, Brody. Small price to pay? Chill out. Alright, just the uh just the day just the day he came to shut it down. The first time he came to shut it down. Yeah, we got the 
the top, me and gang, nigga, fuck with your mama, we all on the tape, nigga, bust at your block, cause that nigga talk tame, nigga, fuck with your bang, nigga, roll with the bang, nigga, roll with the bang, and I got you some cash. Now they're saying nothing. All of my bag, all of my bag, cause I got all this cash. Alright, hold on, hold on. That's one of the clips. That's one of the clips. We was just taking clips. Dropping that four, we all in the car. Fucking your bitch, we dropping with stars. Bump her right here, nigga. Top down. My nigga, we talking about top down. Niggas, they all on my top now. Fuck with your bitch, we talk about drop down. Drop top. My nigga, we talking about drop top. I fuck with your bitch in the hot box. Smoke ah, that's cringy. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Dropping that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This one. All that healthy shit, nigga, not me. Fuck on your bitch and I get in between. Fuck on your bitch and the Why are we eating between? Cream on the ice and your bitch on my nice. Cause she talking about nice. I don't fuck with no bitch. Fuck with no bitch on that hot shit. My nigga, she talking about. Y'all peep his bike. Y'all peep his bike. Y'all peep his bike. Y'all peep his bike. All right, now look. Peep out his pads on the wall. Peep out all the cords on the floor. Peep out a table in there. This how the room looked after he took everything out. He took the pads off the wall. He painted the wall white. And he said we was banned out of there. This is the room after he fucked it up. Look at the room. Painted white. We had to bring any... We got this table out of a classroom. And then we would just bring, we would leave that table in there. Look. He stripped the whole room. No pads in there. Painted the walls white. You see the tape still there. Look at the tape. He painted, the shit was, bro, he painted the white. It was no more booth. This this was this some this some of the videos after um uh uh uh, uh he stripped it down and we was just in here. He was Braggator. I was not bumping no no uh no Braggator. W vocals. <laughs> you really was a little nigga. Was wasn't we all? This young G's. That, that was the studio, uh, L Shoes. Felaz was in that time. That's when them Felaz first came out. When they first came out, I, 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 I got them. Them girls ugly, though. Drop that song. I still got that song. Bitch, I love you. Don't wanna cuff you. She try to fuck me. Eh, no, I can't fuck you. Eh, they try to fuck me. Eh, I ain't fuck you. Eh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Are we talking about cracking somebody's daughter? <laughs> Show the man said I snake you. I don't got that nigga grand bro. I went there for three months. I lost this shit. It was like a little program. You ever meet people your age at like a program or something that's temporary? Never see them again? It was like that. She trying to fuck me. No, I can't fuck you. <laughs> Better not be trying on them jean shorts. 
Where are you from? Uptown. Pause. Stop smacking pussy. If you hungry, say that, bro. Go eat you something. But, oh yeah, we could do unbanned requests. And then we're gonna play a scary game. So if you